Hello everyone. I've seen recently that many people are not familiar with the Revit selection tools or the tools that can help you to select elements or not select elements within a Revit uh, view. And you'll see it at the bottom over here. There's the editable only, the linked elements, the underlay elements, the pinned elements, select by face or edge, whether or not you drag things on selection, and then you've got your usual filter command up here or your, your filter tool, which helps you when you select different uh, things. So we're going to have a quick look at how we use these. Um, basically what we've got open over here is a drawing. And let me uncheck all of these. And it's an interesting drawing in the sense that it's got a link that's coming in here. And let's just use our filter. You can see the filter commands comes up automatically, but you can also find it down here. So if we check none and select the Revit link, there we can find our Revit link. So we've got a Revit link coming up. How about an overlay or an underlay? Here we can put in an overlay. I'm just going to choose a nice large um, range. And you'll see some lines appear here. There we go. And you'll see how it's available. You can still select it and you can even move it around. So if you nudged it, it will nudge around on the page. They are nudging it up and down. All right. So we've got um, links. We've got underlays, pinned elements. Those you should be familiar with. If you click on an element, you can pin it. After you've pinned it for the first time, it will have a pinned uh, symbol that's available for you to unpin it with. And there's pin. There you can see the pin symbol, unpin or pin. If you unpin it, then there's the unpin command there, or the unpin toggle. By face or by edge, that's self-explanatory. Do you select something by face or by edge? And so on. All right, so let's see how they work. <coughs> First of all, in a linked file you might have lots of elements coming in for instance if I hover over this wall and I press tab there I can see how this wall is a structural wall that's contained within the structural model it's a basic wall and the properties are obviously blanked out because it's a linked file and you can still see the properties there all right so now you're busy drawing your walls and then suddenly you're busy selecting the walls in the link and this can become quite irritating or if you just want to filter out whatever the case is so all you need to do is to say do not select links and when you do this you are unable let's take these columns they are also within the um, within the structural model and encapsulating there you can see it's not selecting it there are no columns that were selected over there all right, let's unpin this and see the difference. Uh, still not, of course, it would be the link itself there. There's the link. All right, so let's see if we can tab to this column. Select by face. It just says the, the linked Revit model. It shows it there. You can tab to the column and select the column. All right. Let's unpin this. Uh, switch off the link. Tab, 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 tab. And, it, and the computer sees nothing. So you can't select this. You can't select this column anymore. Okay. So that is what this link does. However, if you were to use the... Um, the profile of this link then you can still draw a floor using it so let's isolate this quickly so I'm temporarily isolating the element I'm switching on that I can't select the linked elements and then I start drawing some floor 
and using the pick line tools you'll see I can still pick the lines within the linked file so it doesn't stop you from drawing elements using it as a as a as a backdrop or as a guide to draw your elements all right so it just helps you to keep the, the your 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 drawing um, nice and clear <coughs> and then the um, the underlay that works the same so instead of being able to move this around if you say you don't want to be able to select that underlay element same difference create a floor just to show you you can still select the underlays lines to draw with all right so there's another useful tool how about pinned elements if you know that you want to pin something there it's pinned and then you don't want to be able to select it because it's you know you don't need to work with it you say don't select pinned elements so if I select these two grid lines I pinned one of them come on that item is pinned unpin this one and unpin this one and unpin this one they were all pinned so this item here is pinned and these items here are unpinned you can see the status over there switch is on so I can't select the unpinned element so I'm, I'm going to expect there to be one element that's selected and indeed there is there's only the one grid line okay so this will stop you from selecting pinned elements by face or by edge, this makes it easy to select things like floors. If you set it to by face, you can just click on the floor and it will select the floor. If this was set to by edge, it wouldn't see the floor, typically. There. If you zoom in closer, you can't select it. Now you're forced to hover over the edge of it and tab until you find the floor. That's cumbersome, so it's selected by face. That's easy. This item here is, can you drag something when you just click on it? So this can be very irritating. Um, let me give you an example. So how this works is that if you just click and drag, then you're going to drag that element away. And that might not be what you're after. So then you say no. If I select the element, just click and drag, I can't do that so this is quite useful when you've got a busy model but if you had selected the element explicitly first and then drag it you can still drag it so I quite like that tool it just gives you the intent to do something better and then of course we've got this element over here which is just the same as the filter command if you select multiple elements then you can filter out which of those categories you'd like to select suppose you wanted to select the floors there you can select the floors the last one is also quite interesting it's the editable only so if we do use work sets and we were to say right I only want or I want to take ownership they call this taking ownership of this work set in other words only I'm allowed to work with this work set and then I to to, to help me stay in this work set what I do is I say um, only editable work sets so only my own work sets must be elements that I can choose and that will also prevent me from drawing in work sets that I shouldn't be drawing in. So there are instances where this might be quite useful. So very powerful tools and I hope you learn how to use them. They can be very very useful especially if you're working with link drawings and underlays and CAD imports and locked elements and pinned elements and if you're just dragging stuff around on the screen when you shouldn't be. Editable work sets only and uh, yeah and uh, you know it's there to help you so learn how to use them. Well, until next time, enjoy everything.